我らは敗北に向かう道を進まれる殿に従うことはできませぬそなたは己の務めを果たすと覚悟はできておるか Shogun is a master class in building tension as lines continue to be drawn between Lord Toranaga, Lord Ishido, the other ruling regents of Japan, and their respective allies. No longer able to play both sides, Lord Yabushige finally goes all in on his allegiance to Toranaga as they prepare for an all out assault on Osaka, which they dub Crimson Sky. There's clearly some unresolved family drama going on as well, because Toranaga's brother Saeki comes to Izu. And seems to almost immediately betray him, revealing that he's been offered a position as regent in exchange for bringing his brother back to Osaka. Meanwhile, Blackthorn really just wants his ship back. Earlier in episode 7, desperate for manpower to aid in a potential attack on Osaka after losing so many of his own in an earthquake, Lord Toranaga seeks the help of his half brother, Seiki, and his army. Toranaga treats his brother to a night of good food and drink. But they don't make it through before Saiki reveals that he's been sent in by Ishido to bring Toranaga and his loyalists back to Osaka to face judgment. Toranaga has until sunset the next day to inform Saiki whether or not he will surrender to the council, and all of his allies are eager to find out what his plan is. Several seek an audience with Toranaga throughout the next day leading up to the deadline, hoping for one last chance to bend his ear before a potentially bloody fight breaks out. Buntaro asks for permission to kill Blackthorn because he doesn't like the way he looks at Mariko, Anna Sawai. However, in order to kill Blackthorn for accusations of adultery with his wife, he would also have to publicly accuse Mariko and kill her as well. Buntaro doesn't want to do this, so he leaves distraught. Mariko, still desperate to join her father in death, then begs Toranaga to end her suffering before they're forced to leave for Osaka, which he also refuses. The proprietor of the Willow World, Gin also cashes in her stick of time that was promised in exchange for her courtesan's services during Seki's stay in town. During her brief time, she asks for a brighter future for her and other courtesans, believing, despite the imminent threat of Toranaga's death, that he has a few tricks left up his sleeve. Blackthorn is still unable to access his ship. Nagakato, who has spent the last 24 hours enraged by this injustice done to his father by his own brother, Decides to take matters into his own hands and dies accidentally.